Hello, this is Matthew from Beardsworth Nurseries. You can find more videos like this one on our blog at mrbeardsworth.com or you can find our nursery website at beardsworths.co.uk. There's links in the description. Today I'm going to show you how to plant a tree. It's a pretty simple process. You dig a hole, put the tree in it and cover it with soil again. There's a few little pointers just to make it a better job and to make it look a bit more professional when you're finished. Firstly, we're going to dig a hole. First job is just to mark where the hole's going. So dig through the turf. And just go crossways. Just makes the turf easier to lift. Put that to one side. <clears throat> now we'll get to digging this hole. At this point, just quickly offer the tree up into the hole. Let's check our depth. Now we're going to be a little deep there. As you see here, that's the nursery line where it's been planted to before. It's actually been in quite deep this one, so we could go anywhere around there. So it must be about there. We're going to put some manure in the bottom of the hole and dig it in first. half a spade full and just dig that right into the bottom of the hole looking good now at this point most people stick the tree in we want the stake first not the tree right the stake it can't go any side it wants to go to the windward side of the tree so if our prevailing wind here is that way so the stake wants to be on this side of the hole and that, when the wind blows, it pulls the tree away from the stake. Like if it's pushing into the stake, the tree can get damaged on here. So it's the windward side. I've got a post knocker, but a sledgehammer will do. Now to plant in the tree. We just need half a shovel full again, a well rotted manure in with the backfill. Just break up any lumps. Might go for a little bit more than that. Train shrub planting cotton post is also fine. And our tree, just offer it up against the stake, see which way around it fits the best. I'm going to go. I'm going to go with that way. And again, make sure it's not too deep. Too deep is worse than too shallow with trees. I like to put the turf back on, just upside down. You do not want to mix your turf in with the backfill. The actual sod of the turf will break down and will starve the tree in nitrogen. Any rocks to one side. And we'll just finish off with a little bit of manure over the top. Finally, tree ties. They come in many different types, but they all follow the same principle, 
which is they make a figure of eight around the stake and around the tree, or the tree against the stake. Whatever type you use, just make sure that the buckle end goes onto the stake. You want the smooth round piece around the tree. So, a nice smooth piece around the tree. And the buckle onto the stake. like so. Finally, a few points on the aftercare of your tree. Keep any grass and turf a good 18 inches away from the base. Your tree will grow much better without it there. Also, if you're planting your tree during the tree planting season, like we are, which is November through to March, then you don't need to water it in. You don't need any irrigation at all. You'll do more harm than good most likely. But if you're planting a containerized tree during the summer, then it will need a heavy watering in. Give it a good heavy watering in when you first planted it, then only water it again if we're getting dry weather and we haven't had any rain. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I'm Matthew from Beardsworth Nurseries. You can find our blog at mrbeardsworth.com and our website is beardsworth.co.uk. There's some links in the description. Thank you very much.